Welcome to Sex Positive Gaming. I'm Annie, and today we have the first in a series of videos each spotlighting a specific kink or fetish, what I like to call flavors of sexuality. To start it off, we are covering the most popular genre in the adult game scene, the harem. Each flavor of the week will not only cover the most popular, most interesting, or just plain fun games I can find, it will also include games that you all in the sex positive community recommend to me. Additionally, the other posts in the week will also be of the same genre. This week we have Being a Dick and Man of the House. Both are extremely popular games on Steam, with Being a Dick focusing on a college experience and Man of the House focusing on a harem built of people you already cohabitate with. Yeah, cohabitate. For those new to the scene, harems tend to involve a male protagonist with a large cast of females to pursue at the same time. There are also homosexual and bisexual harems, as well as harems with a female protagonist with a group of men to pursue, sometimes called a reverse harem. While reverse harems are incredibly popular in written erotica and anime, the vast majority of games currently available are of the male with many females variety, so that's what we'll be covering today. First up is Photo Hunt. In this game, you move in with two people who are definitely not your mother and sister. Life sucks, school sucks, no one likes you, but you have a camera. Grow your skills and stats, earn money, take pictures, and seduce women. I like how many of the love interests have varying degrees of sexual likes and experiences before you meet them. That whole corrupt all the virginal women thing gets a little repetitive. I also like the cartoony 3D art style, though with that many freckles you may want to see a doctor about melanoma. Along with the obvious voyeurism and exhibitionism themes, you get a lot of corruption as well as dominance and submission content. With over 50 achievements, there is some replay value, but currently you can complete almost all of the storyline in one game. I'm looking forward to seeing how Photo Hunt plays out and if we'll get a Steam release. I absolutely loved our next game, Evanical from Alisoft, the company that made the Rance series. When Rance 10 is finally translated, I'm planning on doing an in-depth video on the entire series. Anyways, Evanical is a world where the number of wives you can have is based on your rank in society. In other words, most of recorded history. This RPG is colorful, ridiculous, fun, and like all Alice Soft games, stupid, but in a good way. Build your team of goddess-sanctioned wives, fight evil, and save the world or something. If you like old school RPGs, I can't recommend this game enough. But seriously, where is Rance 10? Manga Gamer tweeted in October of 2019 that this game was 28% translated. <sighs> This series is as almost as old as my parents. I need closure. Anyways, if Anacle is really good, play it. In the DC Universe parody, Something Unlimited, you play as Lex Luthor. What does Lex want to do in this erotic fanfiction gone amok? Kidnap, corrupt, and co op every female superhero into a huge sex trafficking ring. Mainly, a trainer-type game with management features focusing on corruption, exhibitionism, and settling the debate over who is the better henchman, Harley Quinn or Mercy Graves. In addition, you have various unlockable tiers of sex work, villains to lead, capers to cape, and most importantly, get up close and personal with 29 different females from the DC Universe. In WVM, you get to play as a talented basketball player who chose to go to a smaller school for very good plot reasons but I'm pretty sure it was so you can bang as many as humanly possible without the distraction of playing for a Division I school. In this chat simulator, the game hinges on if you cheat on your girlfriend or not. Either you get to score with every female, or most of them. Given what we know about the sexual exploits of professional basketball players, WVM may be one of the most realistic adult content games out right now. The game does add a trans-optional love interest who is honestly way cooler than your girlfriend. It's a seamless part of the game, and I love giving players the choice if they want to explore that flavor. Speaking of which, what do you all think about doing a flavor of the week where I cover games that include trans-optional characters? If not, what do you want to see? In Harem Hotel, you inherit an apartment complex, not a hotel, that you slowly fill with attractive female residents. You will spend most of your time managing your finances, upgrades, and progressing the storylines. You then proceed to corrupt and unlock an in-depth list of fetishes and traits in each girl. Think of them as kink achievements. There's a lot of whimsy in this game, kind of like Doctor Who, but with all female companions and the TARDIS is an apartment complex that is somehow called a hotel, and as opposed to saving the universe, you mold your companions into your perfect woman. 
so like Doctor Who, but way, way better. From the very first build, Harem Not a Hotel has not disappointed in the quality and quantity of content. And as we near completion, I hope everything ties together for a fantastic finish. I will be covering the next title, Shelter, in depth next week, but I wanted to make sure that this post-apocalyptic, Fallout-influenced theme title was on the list. This story is about a regular guy who avoided the bombs with his definitely not family in their personal Fallout shelter. Now you will need to explore, rebuild, and most importantly, rebreed society. It's a tough job, but I'm sure you can handle it. I've mentioned the next developer, NLT Media, in a few of my videos. The completed Steam title, Blast Epidemic, traps you in a half monastery, half college, half corn palace during a storm. Yeah, that's three halves. It's a big game. Fortunately, you are trapped with six curvaceous companions that you romance while solving a Scooby-Doo mystery involving puzzles, traps, and a ton of achievements and unlockables. Some of the collectibles are a little strange. For example, there are these Karma Sutra pages all over that you need in order to have various types of sex with each character. But you need a page for each position and each character, like somehow one curvy MILF is so different from another that you need additional training and study. The reproductive rate of this world must be so low. Anyways, the story is great, and this is one of the best looking RPG maker titles, even if the main character kinda looks like Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon. Finally, we have Koikatsu Party. This is currently the number one selling adult content game on Steam. The plot of this game is very, very limited. You are a male student recruited to an all-female school in order to teach them how to date. No really, that's the plot. You even form a dating the main character club to better achieve this goal. The real draw from Koikatsu Party is the character customization. As a game made from the company Illusion, you have the ability to create just about any character you can imagine and save it as an image that you can share with others. Many, many adult games currently on the market uses images created by Koikatsu or another Illusion character creator, Honey Select. And the mods. There are so many mods for this game. Think of it as the Skyrim for adult games. This does make it a little harder to set up, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty straightforward. It's a more expensive title on Steam probably because you can play in VR, but there are very few games on the market that give you such an incredible range of waifu customization. As you can see, this is a deep and varied genre. You are allowed to pursue as many sexual partners as you like, without the pesky interpersonal conflicts or the collapse of civilization that invariably comes with a real-life implementation. The biggest drawback of harem games tends to be the sacrifice of plot, but both Evanical and Lust Epidemic actually pull off really entertaining storylines. Let me know which games in the genre you like the best and what flavor you want to see next time we do Flavor of the Week. And as always, no shaming, just gaming.